Ryan here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're going to be looking at the Scrag Hero changes and the Celestial Isle event. Before we get into the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all my videos. Let me know in the comments what you think and let's get into the video. All right, so let's take a look at the new event, the Celestial Isles, that is coming pretty soon. So the Celestial Isles is actually gonna be, the main feature is to reveal squares and hidden treasure behind each square on the island. So what it looks like it's gonna do is you are, you are gonna accumulate keys through your daily chests, which current island's ultimate reward, you're actually gonna be able to choose a hero or a pre-selected hero to place here and once you select that hero you can actually complete the island to start a new hero so I'm not sure exactly how the islands are going to work but when you take a look here this is the loot from the first island so you do have some scrolls you got some faction scrolls some hero essence looks like a whole lot of everything and that top left square that you see there is actually going to be where the hero you chose so I'm not sure if they're going to show you this or this is just Kind of a description of what you could earn throughout the event but it's going to be interesting to see because when you actually come into the event you're going to see not all the loot unfortunately like you do here but it's going to look a little more like this so you're just going to see a bunch of cards like i said you're going to have keys that are going to come from daily chests so as you get a key, you can select a square. When you select a square, it's gonna reveal what your reward is. And the ultimate reward is going to be, like I said, a character of your choice or a hero of your choice, which is gonna be nice if you're trying to work on one or two heroes. I'm not exactly sure how many times you can choose the heroes because looking at the hero rewards, it actually shows there's only two of two. So I'm not sure if you can only get the hero once on one island and once in another island if two total or if you can continue to get the new hero as you can see here, see here the ultimate reward is brutus each reward type can be acquired two times so you can only get it two times in two islands once you get them twice then you are done with that hero you can choose another hero so essentially when you get your ultimate reward move on to a new island and start over and as you look down here, you can see Falks, you can see Gwyneth, Brutus, uh, Antenia, Goro, Sirius, Nara, and then two locked heroes. I'm not exactly sure. I think you have to be farther in the islands to get them unlocked, but it's going to be a great event that's coming. So it looks like Scrag is finally getting a rework. For many of you that don't know, he is part of the Mauler faction. Uh, most tier lists don't include him, nor do you see anything about him really anywhere. But they have finally decided, hey, this is a hero that we're going to go ahead and use. So we'll go through all of his new abilities. And they're actually completely decking him out in patch 1.25. So Scrag is now immune to all control abilities while riding Iron Jaw. Enemies will now deal less damage to Scrag the closer they are to him. And he will no longer receive less damage from long-ranged attacks. So Scrag is actually a strength-based hero. And like I said, a lot of you probably don't use him or don't know him. A lot of people call him Bark but Valk's actually a different character in the game. An Iron Jaw will now appear on the battlefield every eight seconds to charge enemies instead of only when he dies, even though the damage is lower. So his ultimate ability, which is Beast of Burden, Scrag's Iron Jaw Steed cannot be knocked backwards while this ability is used. Scrag rides his Iron Jaw using 80%, 80 energy per second until all of his energy is exhausted. While riding Scrag, while Scrag is riding his Iron Jaw, he is immune to crowd control and his attack rating is increased by 30%. Scrag's normal attack will also deal damage twice and knock down enemy targets. So they're actually going to have him do quite a bit more damage and also attack twice and stun. Level 2 energy expenditure, expenditure reduced to 60 per second, so from 80 to 60. So he's actually going to have to have the ability out longer. Level 3, damage increased to 50%. So he's going to be doing quite a bit more damage with his ultimate ability. The Brute Force ability, the Iron Jaw assists Craig in attacking his enemies by smashing them in the air, dealing a small amount of damage to them. 
If the enemy is successfully knocked into the air, Scrag will initiate a three-stage attack against them, which deals 140% damage per attack. So three attacks, three, what's that, 420 damage total? Level two, Scrag beats his drum and rides his iron jaw into nearby enemies, dealing 110% damage multiplied, multiplied times to them, also causing a knockback. Level three and four are damage 150 and 160. Iron Skin, which is going to be the big survivability for Scrag. Like I said, if you've ever used him, he dies really, really fast. Enemies deal less damage to Scrag the closer they get to him. Damage reduction is at its maximum when enemies are within Scrag's striking range. Damage reduction is at its maximum. Damage received can be reduced up to 40%. Level 2 damage re reduction is increased to 50%. And level 3 is 60%. <clears throat> So when you think of him in a frontline tanking role where the enemies are actually going to run up to him, or I even think of him countering someone like uh, Nara that gets dragged across the battlefield, pulling him across the battlefield might be pretty uh, fun to see. And his last ability is Stampede, which is actually being named. If you look at him right now, it is called the Payback ability. Um, so they're renaming it. Every eight seconds, an Iron Jaw appears and charges towards the enemy closest to Scrag's allies allies side of the battlefield knocking them and stunning them and any other enemies in the path dealing 150 percent damage level 2 165 percent level 3 180 percent so again he is going to have another ability not only his ultimate to stun but stampede to stun and that's a possible stun every eight seconds so i think scrag is going to be really stepping it up in pvp and pve so it's going to be really good to see the changes that are coming along with him. And I can't wait for patch 1.25 to drop. And thank you guys for watching the video.